Hello, this is Victor I'm here with the second part of the painting tutorial of Magnus the Red and this time I will start painting the armor. I've been testing here the color that I want for the armor so here on the uh, protection on the on the leg and this is the color I will use so the color I'm using here is uh, trash metal from a scale 75 and it's like uh, it's between gold and silver so here I will I will show you the color. It's like a very pale gold. So we are going. You see, it's quite a transparent metallic. So we are going to we we will need two layers of this metallic on the armor. So I'm going to apply two layers of this uh, trash metal on all the armor plates. Okay, including this thing on the bell. Uh, and I will not care if later on I will paint blue or other color. So I will just use this as a base color for all the different armor plates. Not for the weapon. The weapon I will go for completely different uh, color. So yeah, I will apply this on the armor plates. And I will come back once this is done so you can see how it's looking like. But you see that is and not 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 and yeah, there is not nothing special in that step. It's just applying two thin layers of trash metal from a scale. 75. So at the end I paint the armor as you can see here uh, with the what was called uh, trash metal from scale 75. You see that it's like in between silver and gold. I really like this tone but then I decided instead of keep play, um, painting on the armor I think I will do first all the base colors. This will give me a better idea where I want to go with all the coloring colors. So what I did is I start doing the feathers, okay, and I'm, I will use uh, Bahar Blue. I will not do exactly the same color scheme that we see on the feathers uh, we see on, on from Games Workshop. I will go for something a little bit different and in that case I will use uh, Bahar Blue to do the feathers and with this Bahar Blue I will do as well the wings. So I will use the same base color for the wings. So to do that, le let's do here the wings. I will show you on the wings and then you can assume that all the feathers are going to be done in the same way. So on the wings, we are going to paint as well the armor following the same colors that we have for the rest of, of the armor. So the same um, type of gold silver. So I'm going to do this as well as these are the, the base colors uh, I will use. So you see, we just apply a very thin layer. And more likely, in most of the cases, we are going to do two uh, layers of this Bahar blue. It's quite uh, like a pastel blue. And I think it gives very nice contrast with the skin and with the gold. So I think this combination will work very well. And what we are going to do on the feathers, I'm going to play with the, I'm going to start doing a gradient, going from this very light blue at the root of the feathers at the base, going to dark purple at the extreme. Okay, so I will I will play with blues and purples on the feathers. So, but first of all, we are going to play this base color, okay, and we are going to do this on all the feathers. And on the armor, on, here, on this part here, on the wings, I will also paint the same gold that we have on the rest of the armor. So I will be doing that and I will show you once it's done. Because to be fair, here we just apply base colors and there is not much technique to show you at this moment. So this whole looks like after applying the Bahar Blue here and with it as well, as I said, the wings with the same Bahar Blue. So, they, it's looking, I like a lot the contrast, and now I will work, I will apply, uh, I will keep doing the base colors and I will apply um, blue horror on the clothes. That way I will have the main parts with the base coat. So, as all the base coats just go with the layer, if it's... Um, Normally, what I do is I try to do two layers. So this color should not be 
yeah, you will see that in the camera more likely you will see very little of that uh, it's almost just to you know uniform the color here it's almost white with a little bit of blue tint so I will apply this on the cloth and I will come back so as you can see I've been working in, in one of the legs because I was experimenting how I want this to look like and how to paint the like the armor before doing this on camera. So this is my objective now for the rest of the armor. And we are going to, I'm going to explain how to do it on the other leg and also doing the chest and, and the and all the, the arm protections. So uh, remember that we prepared with a base coat of trash metal from a scale 75. Okay? And we also did the base coat here, but we, I will need to clean up because I see that I do think it by manipulating, but it doesn't matter. So we are, we are going to paint that, and the next step is the next step I did is I applied a um, retributor armor. Uh, in the part that I want to have this more yellowish gold looking. So uh, I will. So it, this is just applying base coat, so no nothing special. So I will show you in this in this big guy here in this big um, bird in the armor. Okay, I try to avoid to paint the back, and what I do is just and in that case I do gold also on the bottom thing. Okay, so we are going to apply. Just ready with the armor, try to be thin. It's uh, it's very important. Oops, sorry. It's very important to paint with very thin paint to avoid to clock any detail. So we are going to do this. Okay. And we have to be careful with always with the gold colors. Sometimes they can clock a little bit. There is a very thin detail on these arms. So we apply this, okay? And I will do, be doing that for the different parts. And later on I will show you how, you, how I, I have painted all the different parts. I will apply this also on the chest. For example here, I think I will do I, I need to think, so I really I need to, to start thinking. I, I do the, for example, the the rim of the of these armor plates. Okay. And on this A on the I want to paint the A in blue, so I will do for example this part. Into this rim. When you want to paint these rims, just try to go with the brush sideways and apply little press. So in that way, you let the sculpt to do the work for you. Okay. So we will be doing that. I will apply all the gold to different parts where I want this yellowish gold and I come back once this is done. So now the gold is applied. Let me show you where I have put gold. So you see uh, on the leg, on all these parts, uh, on this, on the buckle or this type of thing on the here, with a round and then around the A. I think if I wanted to review a little bit this rim here on this armor and then the different details and the heads here as well as the head and on the arm protection and I did as well and most likely we'll need to retouch some of these I just tried to play the base colors and from there to start building up I did as well the wing but now I realize I forgot this part so we will need to do this part as well doesn't matter because the wing here as well, the other wing. 
So we are going to do the same. Uh, the the this, this piece of armor on the wings to go in the same way. Now um, I'm going to play Thousand Sons. Uh, Thousand Sons Blue. And I will apply it here on, on some of the details and also on this thing here in the middle. So not the 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 mm, big of the of this type of bears demons is done with the darker color, is done with the incubi green. Okay, in darkness, sorry. Incubi darkness is the one that I use for this as a base color. So with that base color, I'm going to do mainly for example We'll do this one. This is one of the tricky things to do. So this one, you want to keep your brush within the engrave part. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, and now we are going to do the other blue things. But I need to check because I think I forgot. No, no I didn't forget anything. Okay. For the, we are going to do this thing, for example. Okay, and again, this is with thin paint. And we are going to do all the elements that we want to put in blue. Okay, as you see here, it was very thin. So it's better to use very thin in that place. Doesn't matter if you don't cover the rooms very well. It's even better. Because then this will help you to do then the, the light blue. Sometimes we want full coverage and there is moments that it's better not to have full coverage. So in that way you are you are able to pop up the different texture and you can use the next technique to cover this texture. Okay. So I will keep doing that. Uh, the other thing is when you do this type of elements don't apply too much pressure and go with the price almost horizontal. Okay, let's see. Uh, I have another two small mistakes at this one. If this happens later on, we are going to correct with the base color. So we'll do the other side as well. And we are going to do the different parts, like this type of symbol here. Okay. So we'll be doing that, applying Thousand Suns Blue as the base color for the parts that we want blue on the armor. And I will show you once this has been applied. So now I have applied the Thousand Sons Blue okay. in most of the, in all the parts where I want blue so you see here the, the same symbol, the A we will need to do some clean up later on but so far it's quite okay let's keep applying the base colors and the last base color that we will apply is Incubi Green okay. and this one will go, let me place a little bit better the camera this one will go to all the beaks of the of the bears. So mainly will go in that areas. We take I like to play with uh, to paint with the tail brush. So we are going to play this on the beaks on this mat. As usual, a thin layer is what we look for. 
avoid covering the tail the usual steps when you apply your base color okay a base coat so and as you can see I still not um, gluing this guy on the base because I want to have good access in between the legs and once you are in the base sometimes you don't have this access easy so I want to do at least the legs before gluing to the base so this way I'm doing the legs first because then I can glue it on the base and once it's glued on the base I can it's going to be maybe a little bit more comfortable to paint okay so I will do all this with incubi dark incubi darkness and I'm back once this is done so incubi darkness have been applied and now the next step is to work with agrac air shade I'm going to do this by phases, doing one part first, then letting the eye, and then do another part. And the main reason is to avoid to wrap the paint, wrap up the paint when, when we are applying this. So, we're going to do something here. We're going to point all the rivets. Okay, and the way to do the rivet is you just apply the wash on the rivet and naturally it will go around it. Okay. And I keep the, the thin device because then we are going to a follow up. This type of a slot, right? So I try to localize the wash in the areas where I want to be darker, trying not to dirt them too much the other parts. So for example here it's important to put a line there. And the same on the gold, we are not going to apply this directly on the gold parts, right? What we are going to do, well, let's make this thing first. Okay, I'm going to follow the profile of the gold. In that way, the gold part will pop up much more from the rest of the armor. It's not a too difficult step, I think it's quite easy, straightforward. You just need a little bit of brush control. But the wash naturally will go on in, the, in these recesses. The other thing that is important to pay some attention, you can see I did this here, is on this type of lines. And we are going to follow it as much as I can. So as you can see I go there This wash we need a little bit of cleanup after. Okay, I'll do this. I also try to avoid to do what I happen here. Okay. 
So we are going to keep doing that. Okay, you see here how I did this far. I will, I will keep doing that. For example, this one here. What we want to do is this circle. And then we go the lines. Let me do the lines. So I will keep doing that and I will come back once this is done. So this is how the armor is looking like now that we have applied Agvax air shade. And the next we are going to do is we are going to apply um, what's called this, no I forgot the name. Reglan Flay Shade. Okay, we are going to apply this and we are going to apply this just on the gold parts so this will give the gold a little bit of more, more depth but not too much uh, I think applying Agath L shade is too much and I prefer to apply uh, this reddish color I, I like to give this reddish tone to the gold Okay. And here we see. So we are going to apply this on all the gold parts. As you can see, there is no match. Again, these are quite straightforward steps. All, all what I try to do is, I like to always work on these three steps where you do the base color, then you do the washes, and after the washes, you start highlighting. I think the washes from Gage Workshop work very well. Or the shades, how they want to call it now. So, really happy how they work. Okay, so I try to apply it on all the gold parts that we have on the armor. I will do that and I will show you once this is done. So, arrived to this point, we have applied the two washes. I will, as you see, I'm doing some tests. I will explain you how I do that because I will do a repeat on the front. But I will start, uh, I want to paint the cloth, so I will finalize here the tutorial on the armor and we are going to finish this once this is glued to the base. So now I will prepare, I will do some testing on the cloth, I want to test something and once I have clear how I will paint the cloth, I will go next step is to do the tutorial on the cloth. And keep tuned if you want to see in the future how I do the wings like this one, okay? So this is how uh, I'm just testing, I will do the other wing on tutorial. So yeah, I'm learning and I'm trying to share my learnings as well with you. At the same time, I'm moving ahead with the painting job. So we finalize here the second part. The, we have done the base colors and the, um, the um, what's called the washes on the armor. So this is how it's looking like right now. And keep tuned if you want to see the third part where I will explain how I do the cloth. So that's all for now. Um, yeah, share. Give the comment below. Let me know what do you think so far on what you have seen on the painting job of this guy. And yeah, any opinion, any, any, if you have any idea on what I should do or something that I can do to improve, please leave it in the comment below. You also can support me in Patreon if you want. And as usual, Thanks a lot for watching.